Detective Joe Mount was integral to a number of high-profile gang-related cases. However, our investigation has concluded this was a domestic matter between Detective Loach and another man unrelated to police business. Can you give me more details? Can you give me more details on the second man? Uh, yes, I believe we have a photo. Oh. Oh. Is that Ronnie Proxen? Yes, Mr. Proxen was a two-time Olympic medalist in Taekwondo. Why are you that hey, so Why are you so much of a bitch? Had recently left him to date <laughs> Oh, they're using that for the count because he's the one who so, fucked it up. They, they're trying to say. You get it. Yeah. You get it. This is why he, this is why I fucked him. Yeah, you get it. Hmm. His laptop, his files. There's nothing here. We haven't even left it all. I don't know. <clears throat> Diana, uh, you're going through a rough time, but you're going to get through it. I just know it. Both of you, man. And I'm sure there's a site for people whose ex and boyfriend murdered each other. And if there isn't, there should be. Well, thanks for letting me look around. Yeah, it's um, I can run you home. Or why don't we get a drink? You want to get a drink? No. Okay. No hey, why don't you come to my softball practice? Yeah, I'm taking all the shit. Sit down. I didn't wait now, man. Sit down. Place I need to go. Uh huh. Good job. Better be on the shit. Barry Beckman. Ah, target. Target, right? Thirty bucks. Yeah. I am starving, man. Why don't we go to uh, I don't go to uh, Duparks? Pancakes on me, yeah. Yeah, listen. Uh, mm -hmm. Now that this load stuff's all um, done, um, I can't work with you anymore, man. Oh Jesus Christ! Not this thing again. Why? Why? What have I done? Name me one thing I've done. You wore a wire. I wore a what? Come on, man. I mean, you, you know what you did, man. Look, you know, your head's not in the right place. We just got our asses handed to us by a 12-year-old, but I'm fucking starving. Can we go? I have one of the flats. <laughs> and? That's a story. And you think that that moment is the moment that defines you? Gee, I didn't grow up around a lot of animals like you lot, right? Like, I'm, I'm not from like a rural place. This is in the middle of a city. All right, thank you. Thank you, Sasha. No, 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 don't clap. You lot, you lot should have applauded at the end. If you clap now, it's like pitiful. We didn't know it was okay. over. Okay, Sasha, there are people waiting. You know, maybe you didn't know it was over, but could you tell that that pause was a big deal to me? Because it was. I mean, I stood up here and told that story. Thank you. Hey, we're best. Oh, I don't even want my scene. Yeah. Hey, she takes it so I'm really serious. sorry that I didn't tell you this before, but after we had dinner with Sam, he called me, and um, I went to his hotel. What? Oh God, no, nothing happened. That's I promise, no, it wasn't right bad at all. Yeah, it was yeah. awful, actually. I just. I couldn't stand up to him. I don't know, I just felt fucking paralyzed like I was fucking 19 years old again. Like, stood there like a fucking idiot and I just, I don't know what I thought. I thought, I thought it'd be different or I thought I'd be different or, but he just, he's got my number. So, I wrote this. It's the truth. Yeah, no, I, I can see this. I don't know. I, I don't know if I can do this. I mean, I can barely talk about this stuff with you. How am I supposed to get up there and just, and just like, say all of this in front of them? I mean, what if they judge me? What if they don't fucking get it? No, no, he Is it actually the truth though? If you can tell the truth, you should. Telling the truth is a good thing. Everybody was staring at you. I don't like it. It was embarrassing. You look like a whore. Sam, Ken is just a friend. Don't be an idiot. Don't call me a fucking idiot. Sam grabs Sally by the throat, pins her against the wall. Sally stares at him, wild-eyed, gasps for air, none comes. He's going to kill her. Finally, Sam lets go. Sally slumps to the floor, fighting for air. Sam paces. Then... Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I did that to you. I'm so sorry. It's just seeing you as someone else. 
I got so jealous, and you're right, I'm an idiot. I'm such a fucking idiot. No, you're not. It's my fault. Look, I'm sorry that I called you that. I love you. I love you too. I'm never gonna do this again, I promise. I know, I know. They embrace. Sally turns to the audience. A spotlight returns to her. Yeah, so this next bit would be sort of like a direct address. <clears throat> he apologizes, like before, and I will never feel more loved than in that moment. I endure the wrath because I know what comes after. It's a cycle I can't break because I want to and I don't want to. I stay for the apology. It wasn't that bad. No. Are you fucking insane? Were you in there? I just took a giant fucking turd out there. If they were expecting the old version and this new one just threw them a little, that's what happened. Yeah, well, clearly I can't do this version and now they know the other version is a lie, so now I have no story. So, thanks. Listen, once we rehearse it and, and you perform it, they'll see that the honest version is really powerful. Once we rehearse this. Yeah. You. You and me. What, you and me are going to do this and it's going to be powerful? Yeah. I mean, I'm glad she was actually fucking real with everybody. Yeah, it does make you look like a shitty That's person if you were lying before, yeah. but... Hey, Mr. Cassell. Hey, hey. Oh, oh, Sally. Uh, she's pretty embarrassed. It's not. It was well, easier to tell a lie where you stood up to him and you were badass. It's a bit much more embarrassing to be like... I'm shocked that she had to go see him. Yeah. 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 You can always repeat um, that. Look, she doesn't want to do the scene anymore, and I think she, she should. She believed that uh, the lie was real, right? She talked to her friends. So, um, yeah. I'm putting yeah. energy into playing Sam and not. Yeah. Yeah. Are we dancing with that guy tonight? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Don't be. This is good. Really? Thanks. So, this is your real story? Yeah. Yeah. Why don't we do Are that? Are you free tomorrow? Do you have time to come in and sit down with me on the mic? Yes. yes. Hi. 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 Sorry, um, who are you? This is a closed rehearsal. You can't audit the class. I'm so sorry. Um, I, I'm Lindsay Mandel. I'm Sally's agent. Gersh. Ashante. Ashante. <laughs> Gersh. Oh my god, now she's getting credit for actually being honest about her fucking story. Yeah, they're probably gonna make a fucking lifetime movie about her damn story. Secondly, that's not the reason I can't go to LA. Probably too many people named Gersh over there. No! 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 He's so lucky he didn't know that. That is saying his bouquet is gone. And he doesn't even know what happened to her. Now, at the end of this episode, he opened that car and there's nobody in there. I'm telling you. She's still running around here. Uh, you decided on dinner, sir. Yeah, I think so. I'll have what he's at. Barry's like, yeah, go ahead and tell him. You still don't have me as your killer, which I'm your source of money. I think more leverage would be like... You know what I mean? You think Barry want to disappoint his, his trainer and go to jail? I mean, I think he's less likely to be... Perhaps. But I think the way that he would definitely get Barry to like... Is if he tried to set up Gene to be the one that killed. Oh. Uh. Well, okay, that's far fetched, but yeah, I mean, yeah, that can work too. All right, uh, all right, that was episode two six of Barry, and another great episode, man. I mean, that acting was just when Barry snapped into it. I mean, oof. I mean, even old girl too. I mean, when she snapped Sally. into it, Sally, when she, when she get into it, I think right now this is just a stepping stone. It's about to launch her too, so that's about to be a whole nother. Um, um, uh, Avenue of story, story we about to go down. Uh, obviously, uh, our, our guy Hank just got caught, so he about to be another storyline we gonna have to deal with. And then you know Fuchs, he just probably either we well, still didn't see a body, but he found the car. We did see Barry Shooter though in the flashback, so I guess putting two and two together, but. I don't know why they wouldn't show us that right there, but he did find the car, and he's going to go talk to his, uh, his his mentor right now and see. I don't know what theory is going to work out to be true, but yes, I believe that at the end of the day, he's just going to try to frame, I mean, not frame, but tell Barry, Black as Mellon. leverage, blackmail him, to be like, look, I know what you know, I know what happened, if you don't do what I'll do, then blah, blah, blah. That's what's going to go down. But either way, I'm here for all of it because this show is just freaking amazing and great. So I love this episode yet again, and I cannot wait to see where we go from here now. Until next time. Yeah, I absolutely loved everything about this episode. Uh, especially, I, I really appreciate this show for the evolution of Sally's character because y'all know I hated her in season one. I found her so an uh, annoying and obnoxious. Um, but the fact that, like, she came to the realization on her own um, and then stuck with it with the support of Barry, but on her own as far as rewriting the script to be authentic and be honest about exactly what happened was just such a huge moment for her, I think, because she's been so disillusioned as far as what happened in that situation and the fact that she's willing to share and be so authentic in that because that's, that's very vulnerable for her to share that aspect of herself. So... I just really appreciate the fact that they went there. I love the fact that Barry uh, uh, committed to b playing the role because that's what allows Sally to shine in that moment for uh -huh. everyone to clearly see what it was. Um, so I thought all of that was probably my favorite aspect of the entire episode. I just loved how that all came together. I thought they killed it. The fact that uh, her agent now recognizes that she has her story has potential I think is really, you know, 
interesting to see how that plays out. But, you know, the seeing the actual flashback where Barry shoots um, Janet's, Janet? Um, yeah, was something we hadn't seen up until this point, so I don't know, because it is a flashback and it's in his memory bank, so we don't know necessarily how, if, true it is. how true it yeah. is, but they use that purposely to make us feel that that's what happened. Um, but again, I think there's still some flexibility in that because it, he was using it potentially to motivate his anger side, yeah. because then he didn't stick with that even when he was pulling from the memory he yeah. flashed back to the actual event that actually happened so he's i don't using, know he's using both in, in combination yeah so i think there's still room for the possibility of her not being dead um but i might be wrong in that if yeah. she is dead though because they really plan up like even <coughs> even um um uh, no the fonts i mean even even Jean. even gene they still plan it up he missed her Oh, I mean, I know it just happened, you know, but they're not trying to move on from what happened. So they still I mean, it's plan a, it in it's our It's a head. substantial plot because it hasn't been rectified yeah. in any way. Like, so, there's been no resolution. They might be setting us up for that at the end. Um, but what I will say is if she is, in fact, dead and Barry did it, I think Fuchs is, at this point, desperate for leverage, which Barry did a... Barry just ignited a fire under his ass, essentially pointing out the fact that he had none, and this is yeah. his only card to play. Uh, so I thought it was really well written in that way. But as far as how he plays this card, um, I think it, it could go one of two ways. To your point, it could be just, I'll tell him, and he uh -huh. won't like you. But again, Barry's his asset, so that would essentially take Barry off the table, and I feel like that would be a poor move yep. for Fuchs. So I think it'd be more <laughs> so, look... I can make it look real suspicious, like he and he's the boyfriend, and, you and they want to be the boyfriend. Yeah, and yeah. like this is somebody. So that's true. That's true. I could see it being played out that yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the stuff with um, Harry. That's not saying Hank. The stuff with Hank, though, I have no idea how that's gonna play out because essentially, Bar they just t uh, cut ties with Barry. Barry's, you know, paid his debts. There's nothing left there for Barry to do. Yep. He got his little, you know. Emblem, whatever. He's going to have um, a come say today, though. I but how it. how is Hank even going to have a chance to even let Barry know about the situation? Like, yeah. they got him dead to rights right now. Like, there's yeah. nothing they can do. Yeah. But I'm very interested because the show already recognized it was a mistake to try to kill Hank in the first episode. They're not going to kill him now, either. Nope. Um, but how does this play out and how does this evolve? I'm here for it because the writers do a, have done an incredible job up until this point. Uh, I can't wait to check out the next episode. Yeah. Alright, well look, thank you guys again for watching another Real Talk Reaction for Barry Season 2, Episode Number 6. And until next time, people.